Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you today about a study that was very interesting. It's out of Norway. And what they did, the researchers looked at over 75,000 infants and they evaluated the antibiotic use that these infants received prior to the age of 18 months, so 18 months and younger. What they found was not really surprising, but information I think it's very good to know, especially if, you, if you're an expecting parent or uh, if you have little ones, because we know that the gut is where 80% of our immune system is housed, and a lot of the strength of the immune system comes from the microflora or the probiotics, the good bacteria that are in the gut. And we also know that when you take antibiotics, it tends to wipe out those good bacteria. And we also know that these microflora are responsible for and have the ability to turn on and off genes meaning you can have uh, the genes for celiac disease, as an example, that's what these researchers were looking at. Uh, you can have those genes, but research shows us that if that microbiota or the, that good flora in the intestine is strong and in good shape, it will actually keep that bad gene turned off, which is what you want all bad genes to be in the off position, meaning you're not developing the disease. So what they did to kind of test this hypothesis was, as I said, they looked at 75,000 infants, and what they found was that infants that had two or more uh, rounds of antibiotics between birth and 18 months uh, had an increased incidence of celiac disease. Now, this increased incidence was not affected by the number of infections the child had, and I think that's very important to know. Just because a child develops an infection or a fever uh, did not mean that they had increased incidence of celiac disease. It was the use of the antibiotics that's known to wipe out that good flora. That's where the negative effect came in. Now, if the mother took an antibiotic during pregnancy or while lactating, while nursing, that too had no effect on this increase of celiac disease, which makes sense again because um, when, a, when a woman is lactating and that wonderful breast milk is, is getting through to the infant, so it's, it's giving some protection and obviously gave enough protection at least according to what these researchers found. So it really was that child, that infant, that um, they themselves were given antibiotics to plus times during that first 18 months of birth, so uh, after birth, sorry. So the takeaway really is the importance of keeping that microbiota or that good flora really healthy in, in a child, really in all of us, but uh, certainly starting out with, um, with a robust microflora is, is, is a protectant, at least according to these researchers of disease, specifically celiac disease. I think we could probably extrapolate to other diseases, but sticking with what the researchers found, uh, it was particularly celiac disease that we were looking at. In my own children, I have three children, they're now adults, but um, Boy, they, they all grew up. I think my, my daughter was the first one to break the, the antibiotic, uh, the no antibiotic trend, and I think she was about 11 or 12 when the, when the first antibiotic was given to any of the children. Uh, certainly my husband and I are both clinicians, so a little bit easier, but um, the facts are there's things you can do that we used to do uh, sort of pre-antibiotic days. Uh, I remember when I had a high fever, my, my parents used to just strip me down and, you know, mild, mildly cool baths, which of course felt like ice water at the time. Uh, but there are things to do for fever uh, that don't, don't always involve antibiotics. Certainly, um, pediatrici pediatricians have gotten much better at understanding the negatives of antibiotics, so every little red ear doesn't get an antibiotic anymore, or at least it shouldn't, and that trend is growing, so that's a positive. So know this as a parent, uh, know that holding off those antibiotics is a good protection, and, and obviously sometimes it happens that you need one, and, and even the children that had one still did not show that increased incidence. So one set of antibiotics or one round of antibiotics was, was okay. It was just two or more that put them in that category for increased incidence of this particular autoimmune disease, celiac disease. So um, if you need some advice on, on how to handle uh, certain illnesses in a more natural way, feel free to contact me. And uh, I hope you found this valuable. Until next time, I wish you very good health.